Hello very good morning and welcome to Adava news paper highlights today friday 2nd of december 2016 this is edward with the highlights of today's english newspapers as usual we have three newspapers for the highlights daily mirror daily news and salon today firstly let's have a look on the daily mirror the main headline says bus strike to go ahead no talks bus association says we demand to of the government to rescind the minimum fine of 2500 rupees which was proposed in the budget proposal stanley fernando we informed the government that we intend to go on this strike on november 24 sarath vijida kumar private bus operators yesterday vowed that they would resort to a country wide bus strike from midnight yesterday and will not engage in further talks even if asked by the president all ceylon private bus company association president stanley fernando said proposed railway strike called off the railway employees trade union federation yesterday decided to call off today's proposed 24 hour token strike After an assurance was given by President Maithripala Sirisena, the Transport Minister Nimal Sripala de Silva and the Deputy Minister Ashok Abey Singh over their four demands, RETUF convener Janaka Fernando said. New Constitution President stresses the need to build opinion to face a referendum. Saddened by Mahinda Rajapaksa's statement that government going to divide country, interested persons misleading the most venerable mahanayaka teras sampanthan one of the best tamil political leaders in recent times president maithripala sirisena yesterday stressed the need to build an opinion among the people if the need arises to face a referendum on the proposed new constitution the president expressed these views while speaking during the committee stage debate on the budget in parliament last afternoon we need to build an opinion to bring about reconciliation by resolving the national issue if the need arises for a referendum on the new constitution the president said stressing on the need for the cooperation of all parties in resolving the national issue i was saddened by the recent statement made by former president mahindra rajapaksa that the government was going to divide the country through the new constitution president sirisena said i am sad to see some interested persons misleading the most venerable mahanayaka teras saying the government is all out to divide the country the president went on to praise the leader of the opposition or sampanthan saying he was one of the best tamil political leaders in recent times after apapale amirda lingam mike pence invites president to visit us Mike Pence, Vice President Elect of the United States of America, had phoned President Maithripala Sirisena last night and invited him to visit the US in a bid to enhance bilateral relations between the two nations, President's media unit said. It said President Sirisena had extended his good wishes to US President Elect Donald Trump and Mr Pence during the phone conversation. Keep a check on badly driven VIP vehicles. President Maithripala Sirisena instructed the IGP last morning to keep a check on VIP vehicles driven in a manner that is hazardous to the public with headlights on in the daytime and to report on the VIPs on board. Secondly, let's move to daily news. The main headline says that call to the IGP. IGP's response stirs public emotions. President calls for explanation. President Maithripala Sirisena informed parliament yesterday that he would call for an explanation from IGP Pujit Jay Sundara over the latter's recent remarks on taking persons into custody by the Financial Crimes Investigation Division during a police commemorative event at Ratnapura. JVP to launch campaign against proposed sale of Eastern Terminal. The government's move to sell the eastern terminal of the Colombo port is not merely an isolated issue concerning the port employees but an issue of every patriotic individual in the country kvp parliamentarian sunil handuneti said he added that the eastern terminal of the colombo port is to be sold to india by the government without considering the agitations of harbor employees and the patriotic people ports will not be sold Ports and Shipping Minister Arjuna Ranatunga said the port's resources will never be sold. He added that even the Hambantota Harbour, which has become a white elephant, will not be sold. Mother crushed to death. 
by Trisha driven by son. A 47-year-old mother died when she was crushed under a three-wheeler driven by her son, which toppled after crashing into a stationary bus at Telaramba Junction, Kamburgamuwa, around 7:30 a.m. on December 1. Police investigations revealed that the three-wheeler had gone out of control and hit the bus as the son who drove it was talking on his mobile phone at that time. Finally, let's move to Ceylon today. The main headline says IGP promises certain individual would not be arrested. President to call for explanation. President Maithripala Sirisena yesterday assured parliament he would call on IGP Pujit Jayasundara to explain his remarks regarding arresting persons through the Financial Crimes Investigation Division during a speech at a police commemorative event in Ratnapura. Eight avant-garde accused travel ban lifted. Colombo Chief Magistrate Jihan Pilapitiya yesterday lifted the travel ban imposed on eight accused in the avant-garde case. When the case was taken up before the Chief Magistrate, all counsel appearing for the accused told the magistrate their clients seek to go abroad and requested that the travel ban imposed on them be lifted. The counsel appearing for the bribery commission did not object to the request and said the court can take any decision over the matter. Can be Sri Lankan again, but Gunaratna must revoke OC citizenship. Leader of the Frontline Socialist Party, Kumar Gunaratnam could be given Sri Lankan citizenship on the condition that he applies for Lankan citizenship and gives up his Australian citizenship. Minister of Wayamba Development, Cultural Affairs and Immigration and Emigration has been Navinna informed parliament yesterday. President calls on trade unions solve problems through dialogue not demos. President Maithripala Sirisena yesterday in parliament called on all trade unions to find solutions to their problems through dialogue and negotiations instead of inconveniencing the general public through token strike and demonstrations. With that, let's come to an end of today's paper highlights. We will come with more news tomorrow morning. Thanks for listening to other newspaper highlights.